Hello, it's Angela and I'm here to share another project with you. I've been working with the new collection from Dovecraft, which is called Lost and Found. And this has a sort of outdoors, camping, wildlife kind of vibe. Um, we've got bears, we've got tents, we've got trees, um, all sorts of things. And the papers are in browns and creams and greens and blacks. Um, quite sort of masculine colours but I think they're suitable for all really. Now what I've done for this make is I thought I'd add some pops of colour. So I've got some uh, ink sprays which are water based so using the watercolour inks I just randomly spritz some white card. I've used a purple, a pink, green and yellow and then I've done some overspraying with a white which you can't see but it actually does create more of the mottled effect. Um, when that ink was dry I stamped the bear using a waterproof ink and then used a little bit more of the watercolour inks to just to highlight the mountains in there the yellow and the pink and also watered down the white just to add a little bit of um, difference in the in the textures between the card base and the bear. I just wanted to highlight it a little bit. Then when all that was dry, I stamped the Let's Get Lost sentiment. This is on the same clear stamp set that you get with the collection and you get the bow on there as well and some other bits and pieces. Um, I stamped this onto the corner of the card and then when it was all dry, um, I glued on a wooden frame from the set. I think you get three different colours, designs in the wooden frames and I've chosen the black one to tone with the papers. Um, I sort of glued that on towards the top and then when it was dry I cut the piece of card really just to give it some interest, a little bit of interest at the corner there with a different shape. Um, then I ran a layer of the washi tape so the burr's standing on it, grounds the burr and you get two washi tapes I think in the set and I've chosen the wild and free one and placing it so that the sentiment can be seen and securing the ends on the back. Oh, before I did that, I forgot to mention that I did use the Dovecraft distressing tool around the edges of the white card and also on the paper. Now my card's a slightly larger one, I think it's seven by seven, and I used a six by six paper and distressed the edges. So um, that was, the paper was attached directly to the card base. Um, the watercolor panel was added using 3D foam just to raise it a little bit and I also left the foam sort of free at this top right so that I could slide on one of these paper clips. Now these are really fun and um, you get two different designs in the pack. Um, I think there's probably about six in total and there's this neat sort of compass one and there's this bear one and I thought I'd use the bear this time because it obviously goes with my bear stamp. And what I did is I took some of the twine, two different ones, I think there's three in the pack, and I tied a little wooden arrow with the twine and then looped it round the back of the paper clip so that the arrow is quite free but it points to let's get lost. Now the wooden arrows you get quite a few in a pack and I just think they're a really nice touch. You know, the lightweight, you can glue them direct if you want, but on this occasion I've, I've tied it on with twine. Um, to finish, um, I added some of the gems from the collection. Three there and three in the corner. And also added some sequins in sort of blacks, clears and white colours. And I just think it works well with the colours on this one, having a sort of pop of brights. And... Oh, excuse, that's my doggy barking. <laughs> anyway, that's that card today. And I think I might try making another one um, with different watercolour sprays. Thanks for looking. Thank you.